Welcome. By the end of this video, you will be able to smooth the scaling and moving of parts within Roblox Studio. Let's get started. So you're going to want to have Roblox Studio open. And you might be experiencing this problem where you add a part, and once that part or block is there, you notice whenever I move it, it kind of uh, moves erratically or it doesn't uh, move exactly very smoothly. So I'm going to go ahead and change that. Same thing with if I were to scale it, same kind of thing. So let me show you the setting where you can change how smooth or not smooth the moving and scaling is. So if you go to the top left hand side of your screen, you'll see you've got homes uh, there. And let's go ahead and click on move. So we've got something there. And then let's go ahead and click on model. And in your model tab, you're going to notice that there's rotate and move. And so right now I do want those enabled. So make sure you have that blue check mark there. And you'll notice it says 10 studs. So what that means is that right now when I attempt to move it, it's going to move 10 studs at a time. So if you're familiar with Roblox Studio, you'll notice that this map has lines or grids on it already. So you can see there's like a dark part here and then the light part. And then each one of them has like individual grids here. So each one of these is a stud. Okay, so we've got a block of studs here by four studs by four studs and then it keeps alternating so what i want to do is i'm going to want to change that instead of doing 10 studs let's do something like one stud okay so now when you notice i'm going to move it it'll move much more smoothly and you'll see it's going one stud at a time and so you'll notice there's the four studs and then i'm just going to move it one stud at a time you can see exactly how it snaps into place with the grid so if you're building something very large, one stud might be good enough for you. But if you want to move and scale more smoothly, what you want to do is you want to decrease that. So uh, I recommend anything that is divisible by one, uh, so or easy to think of in one. So let's say you wanted to go pretty uh, thin, you go maybe 0.1. So that means that every time I move this, it's going to move 0.1 stud. You can see it's nice and smooth now. And I like 0.1 because I know that I have 10 of those in one stud. So if I want to scale this, so all I need to do is just press scale, and then now it'll scale at the same ratio too, 0.1 at a time. And if any point you want to check the size of your part or your block, you want to have it selected, and then go to the right-hand side with Explore and Properties open, and then go to the bottom right-hand side of the screen, and you'll notice if you scroll down, you'll see the position. So you see the position now is at 14.1. That must mean that I have it 0.1 over where I want it. So I want to go ahead and scale it again. And then there we go. So now it's at 14, negative 14. So uh, when you're scaling this, you can watch the position move so you know exactly how to manipulate the part as you want it to. You can also just type in here exactly where you want the part to be, and that will move the part also. But let's continue exploring uh, moving and scaling your parts more smoothly. One way to get even finer movement is to do 0 0.05. So 0 0.05. And then that's going to be very fine. So you notice when I uh, go ahead and do this, I can make really thin parts. So let me go ahead and kind of zoom into that. So you can see it's an extremely thin part that I've got there. And this is really good for any detail work that you're doing in Roblox. And if you're working with joints, uh, sometimes the best way to move is to do 0.125. And then that means that you can have eight of those in one stud if you're thinking it in that way. So I can uh, move it and it's pr still pretty thin um, and it works pretty well for joints. Lastly, if you would like to rotate uh, smoothly, you wanna make sure that the same thing is with the rotate that you've got a nice smooth. So you can see that's pretty smooth. So it, the larger this is, the less smooth it will be when rotating, so you can see. And again, it depends what you're building. If you're building really big things, you might want a large rotate angle there uh, so that you can rotate it pretty easily for large objects. So you now know how to move and scale parts smoothly within Roblox Studio. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other Roblox Studio tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.